Yo, JD here, Tillamus. And as you can see, we are back on F1 2021. And today, with some more online lobbies, this time on Xbox, once again, we're actually at Hungary in Budapest, a track that I think is very underrated and very underused as well. A lot of people don't seem to enjoy driving this track, but for me, it is by far one of my favorites. So we've got five lights here, starting from the back on the medium tires. And as always, we're going to be showcasing this entire race because there are oh, a few things in this race, which pretty much sums up this online experience. So racing with a lot of people here today who are pretty fast, so quite a competitive lobby. We've got FRA Elite 45, who is one of the fastest drivers on Xbox, as we have a little bit of a cluster up ahead of us, but we're just trying to navigate this through nicely, and we're already up into P14. These two are going side by side, FGE, FRA side by side. Ow, we're losing the car there. Just about saving it. And pretty good uh, progressors. Yep, get three or two people there in one. Mamid Monk has disconnected, so has Websey. And again, if you want a guaranteed invite into these lobbies, then if you become a YouTube member, clicking that join button, then that is a way to be slotted in because these lobbies do fill up very quickly. And I'm pleased to say that I will be returning to PlayStation Open Lobbies next week as people are just spinning galore <laughs> at the moment. But I will be returning to PlayStation next week. I just need a new headset for that. So we're up into P7. So again, quite a lot of positions here. And the alternate strategy is probably the preferred strategy around this circuit. And the turnout strategy is always going to be faster if you started side by side with someone who was on the softs and you're on the mediums and then you pit for the opposite tyres. Your turnout strategy is always going to be faster but at some tracks due to the layout of it and how easy it is to overtake and really depends on the tyre degradation as well. Some tracks it's actually probably better to start even on softs just so you can get that track position and get away and avoid all of the traffic. But speaking of traffic, we're actually coming up to some here as a Ferrari Elite has made his way quite quickly through this pack. And I think he's one of the fastest drivers I've actually come across so far on Xbox. I think he does hold some world records, but he always seems to be very much at the top of the time sheets when it comes to time trial. And I'm trying to go down the inside of Andre 330, if I can read that correctly here. And he's on the soft tyres, so he should be faster at this stage, but we're just going to try and make the motor go down the inside and just trying to avoid a bit of contact, leaving some room on the outside. Just getting a little bit of better traction. And now we are up into P6. So, so far, so good. And the race is definitely going to plan at the moment and yeah a lot of people don't seem to enjoy this track but for me it really punishes you if you make a mistake you have to keep your tire temperatures in check and your tire wear as well so i think it's a real uh, driver's track where if you're not getting the maximum out of yourself and you're making careless mistakes you're not going to do too well around the circuit such as this so it really does require a lot of race management as well. And that's why I really like doing tracks such as this uh, and Mexico as well. Because you can't afford to be pushing flat out all the time and quite similar to tracks like Singapore as well. But now we're behind big uh, Congus here. And we're trying to get a good exit off this. And again, FRA Elite has set the fastest up at a 17.3. So... Almost going two seconds that fast than us on that soft tyre. But we do have our soft tyre to come later in this race. And now we are stuck in a little bit of a 
DRS train. So just checking where our teammate is because want to make sure he's not ahead of us. We'll be held in the pits as Jeff just doesn't ever stop talking. But again, just have to plan our attack uh, quite nicely for here. Really trying to hook the inside of that left-hand curb. And this circuit is just absolutely relentless. It is so easy. If you lose a bit of concentration around here, you're completely done. So you just cannot afford to relax around her guard ring as we're sensing a bit of an opportunity coming through here, but we're not going to do it. And try to get the exit of this one. And yep, we're not going to be close enough. So following the dirty air, proving a little bit troublesome, but getting a pretty good traction car off here. The setup I'm using for this one is the same as I used in the eSports uh, qualifying uh, I did as well as now we are trying to set ourselves up nicely coming down the straight so going side by side with this medium runner with Hammy's best up in front of us and should be quite a simple overtake into turn one which it is and now we slot into P5 and we have a soft runner in P3 who seems to be a little bit struggling with the pace which isn't good for a course because we don't want FRA elites to be too far in the lead and it looks like there is someone else up there with him as well so it's really crucial that we try and clear this soft runner in P3 as quick as we can it looks like his red light is flashing as well but the problem is at Hungary doesn't really matter if you're so much slow on the ERS you're running quite high downforce anyway and the straight isn't particularly that long there's only really one overtaking spot you can do but with the third man in the DRS train which is always the place you don't really want to be when you are league racing so we're going to try and get this move done but going through these last two corners the soft runner actually does these quite well which is annoyingly frustrating for us because that means we're going to have to push quite hard with the ERS going down the straight so Hammy goes for the overtake we're going to have to try and follow him through to going into here and making a bit of contact so a bit clumsy on my side but but Aston Martin just kind of relieves that position and because we had the DRS anyway and now we're up into P4 but it's actually Goxy who's up in P2. So FRO Elite has now taken the lead. And Goxy, a good friend of mine, is a driver who's been improving uh, quite a lot recently. He actually races in BRS, the league that I'm taking part in tomorrow when we arrive at Monza. So make sure you stay tuned for that live stream. But he's someone whose pace has seriously, seriously improved. So he's got a 5.4 second gap on us. And we've got to try and get as close as we possibly can. And it's not going to be easy to close in that gap. So we've got to try and get past Hammy going down this straight. Because I felt I had a bit more pace than him. But going through these last couple of corners, this is the place where I was actually kind of lacking a, a bit of time here. But we get a fairly good exit. Coming off here, he makes a bit of a mistake. And... Yellow flag, so we did a little lift, but the green flag is back on. So we did a lift and then go back through. So doing a bit of a Verstappen, as he did at Ibola. On the here's a qualify gap, but we get that done. Didn't want to get an illegal overtake or risk the illegal overtake. And now the gap is 5.5. As FRA Elite has actually now pitted. So he's going to come out on the medium tyres. So he's going for a little bit of an undercut. And the goal here is to try and go as long as you can until you pit for the softs because the fresher softs you have the more OP it is and especially tracks like Hungary where tire degradation is quite high a lap fresher tyres around here no, effectively you could be driving almost three temps to half a second lap slower on raw pace than someone else but if you have that lap fresher tyres you might even be lapping quicker than that person that's how powerful it is so you can see this gap is starting to come down uh, fairly slowly. But Goxie, as I said, the driver who I've been racing with for the entire F1 2021 20, game, and I'm sure he doesn't mind me saying 
It's just, if this was at the start of the game, I think we'd be catching uh, pretty quickly. But his pace, especially in the recent few months, has come on very, very strongly. So it's not going to be easy. You can see we have closed that gap by about half a second since overtaking Hammy. Let's see what it's going to be on this lap. And in this video, I felt I was driving uh, pretty well. Last time I did this track was for the eSports uh, qualifying, where we did get into the top 10 in that. But I haven't really touched it um, since. And no, it's nice to be back doing open lobbies once again. It definitely has been quite some time. So once again, if you'd like a guaranteed spot on this, if you are around at the time when I do these open lobbies, then join in my YouTube membership. That is one of the perks of it because these lobbies do fill up incredibly quickly on all platforms. And yeah, sadly, we can only have 20 drivers in here at a time. So first come, first served. But the priority invite is definitely something worth looking into if you'd like to get in lobbies uh, such as this. Because yeah, a lot of very, very fast drivers Caution. drive in these races. And I think it's actually a good experience for people to improve themselves as well if that's what they are looking to do but you can see on this lap we haven't actually gained that much time maybe like a tenth or two tenths so Cafaro got to get that Gox's pace is very very strong FRA Elite man who has the fastest lap is only 11.5 seconds behind so we're going to have to do quite a lot of work on the soft tyre if we want to try and beat him, but with this medium is going to be a few laps old, more than a few laps old once we pit, and us being on the fresher softs, we should be closing in relatively quickly once we get towards the end of this race. And the gap has now come down to 4.4 seconds, so just really trying to shift that momentum, and a lot of this is really psychological as well. If you can see a gap if you're closing in on someone, it really does put them under pressure as Goxie has now pitted. So we're going to continue on for at least another lap because I felt that my pace was faster, but I need more of a tyre advantage going towards the end of the race. As well as FR Elite does a 16.9 fastest lap, but he is coming up to a bit of uh, traffic here uh, which is going to be uh, quite interesting so let's see if we stay out for another lap longer and of course in these open lobbies they aren't league races that usually it's a good testing ground to see what strategies work and how OP some of the fresher tyres can be so that's quite what's well, often the reason why I like to go a little bit longer in these races just to see how powerful it really is. You can see Goxie has come out 14.3 uh, seconds behind. So the pit lane isn't a huge pit lane around here at all. And I think the gap was about 4.4 seconds when he came into the pits. But I can see that he is probably going to hit traffic quite soon as well. And FRL hasn't actually gained on us that much as that because I think he is stuck behind VGE Vlad. So we're actually going to continue once again. So we're going to have two lap pressure tyres then, Goxie. So these are the laps where it's really going to matter. So we're going to push quite hard on this in lap as we come down through into here. Trying to get a good run coming up this straight. And looks like Goxie has actually gone up into P3 somehow. So... FR Elite has had uh, a little bit of a issue there. So I'm not quite sure what's happened to him. He's dropped now down to 21 seconds behind. So it looks like it's going to be a straight fight between myself and Goxie to see who could come out on top here. He doesn't have any traffic in front of him. So we've got to try and maximize this last sector as much as possible. Right, come in at the end of this lap. As we've done pit to confirm. So we're just going to give everything for the last sector. You can see he is catching us 
quite quickly now. But with the double lap fresher tyres, two lap fresher tyres, then hopefully that's going to pay some dividends coming towards the end of the race. So trying to spot the pit line entry, which we do quite nicely there. And now we're going to go on to a set of softs. Got to the racers. Hammy has still decided to uh, stay out as well as now Goxie goes past with a 16.5 faster slap. And now the race is on to see what we can do. So we're going to stay on board again for the end of this race. So no cuts at all. And this is something I always like to do if you're new to the channel i always tend to upload a full race especially when it's a 25 percent as well because this is something i felt really helped me when i was into learning f1 and trying to improve at the game so the gap is now 7.4 seconds so we have lost three seconds but you will see with these two that pressure tires how much benefit that actually is because after five laps that's when they actually start to uh, suffer quite a bit so we've already gained three tenths just through this middle sector as well let's see how much we gain through the last and the gap let's see is it going to be under seven seconds through here already it's already under seven seconds so it was 7.4 coming out the pits let's see what the gap is coming through into Taiwan because we've got to be catching him by over a second a lap if we want to make this work to actually win this race and see we do a purple middle sector using a bit of the ERS now and coming to turn one so let's see what the gap is here now and the gap is about 6.5 6.4 seconds so we have gained one second in that lap alone so we'll still keep an eye on that as well as Hammy has actually said and now Goxie actually has a three second time penalty so now all we have to do is just get within three seconds as we're setting a purple first sector five temps half a second up on our fastest lap so far yellow flag coming through into here not quite sure what that is for as the green flag has now been enabled again and you can see the gap we've gained another half a second just through this section of the track and the more his tires degrade the more this should swing in our favour as we do a, a double purple into the last sector using all of the tracks. So that is our first track invalidation here. And at the start of the lap, it was 6.4 seconds. It needs to be 5.4 if we're going to be on track. We're going a little bit out wide here using the ERS and going across the line is at 15.8. We could have used a bit more ERS on that lap, but we haven't actually gained a second. So Goxie is doing enough as we've got a little bit deeper to here. So that's a bit of a mistake that we cannot afford to make. But again, as his tyres start degrading, it really should start to swing back into our favour. But I think he has the DRS from the car up ahead as Goxie is now here. So he had a bit of an incident with Hammy. So I'm not quite sure what has happened there as you can see he's really really struggling with his tire so he's had a bit of an incident and yeah all we have to do now is just stay within the three seconds and no we should be the much much faster car as we come into the end of this race so all we have to do is just sit nicely FRA Elite is only 4.8 seconds behind and I was quite shocked at how well he was keeping up on those medium tires those older medium tires we should be uh, putting away from him quite quickly. So the pace he has is uh, absolutely insane. I might have to try and do a 1v1 against him or something because he is just his pace is just ridiculous. He was actually catching us. He's catching us in this last sector, which I don't know quite know how he is doing that. But we have three laps of this race to go. And all we have to do is just keep it nice and calm. See Goxing still getting amazing traction off here. So very impressive of how much this guy has improved his pace. And Hammy has still stayed out. So 5.8 seconds up to him. But I believe he has to pit again. But as we look here, what on earth has happened there? 
Yeah. And if you didn't know what just happened there, we'll have to watch that back in a second, but... Goxy... Ghosting is turned on in this lobby, by the way, and... Yeah, Goxy drove through him absolutely fine. But when we came to drive through him, he didn't ghost. So yeah, I just have absolutely no words. And because of that, we have now dropped 6.3 seconds behind Goxy. So we've got three laps to gain three seconds on him. And yeah, I'm surprised I didn't go absolutely mental there because I, I just didn't even know what happened. I thought he drove around him, but looking back at that footage, just we'll probably look at it again in a second. He just drove through him, and I didn't. And when ghosting is turned on for lap cars, so... Very perplexed what happened there. And these are the kind of things that really do kind of ruin the online experience a little bit for me. Because it's just so, so inconsistent in terms of whether you're going to get a lobby that actually is functioning uh, properly or not. But yeah, that was... A bit of BS, but now we're behind FR Elite, who you're about to see here now. His pace on these mediums was just absolutely insane. We should be cruising past him, but the traction he's getting, and he's actually catching Goxie on medium tyres, where the softs should still be the fastest tyre at this stage of the race. And we're actually struggling to get close to him in this last sector so we're gonna try and get as close as we can we need to overtake him going down the straight because the gap is still 5.6 seconds away and yeah, because of that we've got an absolutely amount of work to do is he does a little bit of a shuffle which usually is a meaning that he's just gonna let us go past so he's not gonna fight this too hard at all and now the gap is five seconds so we've got to gain two seconds so we've got to gain one second Per lap if we're going to win this race so we're just going to give it everything here and you can see we're not actually gaining that much time even with the DRS on Goxy so just go get absolutely everything that's our second warning so one more of those and we will be receiving a three second time penalty ourselves and going through here we still haven't actually gained that much time so again was expecting these tyres to be uh, a little bit more stronger, but as I said before, in these open lobbies, these are the places to actually test this kind of thing. And you know, if we do a league race around here, probably wouldn't be staying out for two or three lap fresher tyres. It doesn't seem to be a huge advantage gained. And see, we've only gained about six tenths of a second this lap, so this is definitely not good enough so far. So we've really got to hope his tyres completely fall off the cliff as FR Elite is still staying in our DRS uh, pretty uh, comfortably here and now we've got to try and gain 1.8 seconds on this uh, last lap or 1.2 seconds sorry on this last lap so carry through to here we're just going to give it absolutely everything we can using all of the ERS we have left available. So we've got to gain over one second in the next two sectors with FR Elite still keeping tabs on us quite nicely. And yeah, at the moment, I don't think it is going to be enough. So we're just going to give it absolutely everything. Go through the end of the sector two and sector three. Uh, no, we are gaining a bit of time here now. Just got eight temps to find and unless a meteorite comes down in front of Goxley. I think he probably has this one in the bag here. And yeah, unless he gets a puncture coming through into here. Don't think it is going to be quite enough on this occasion. So we did close in that gap. But with that incident, Goxley takes the win. So GG to him. GG to FR Elite. And yeah. That's why some moments on this game online really can ruin the experience. So I have no idea what happened there.
exactly. Let me know if you've had anything similar. What are your thoughts of the F1 2021 online? Do you feel it has been good enough on this game? Thank you so much for watching. And before we go as well, I'd like to give a quick shout out to some new extra rotation members as well. People who have joined the YouTube membership recently. So thank you, West Dillanian, uh, Ivy Wee, Macabana, <laughs> not easy names to say, Sven Hartman and Mitzwee MIT. Thank you so much for joining the Extra Rotation Club. Make sure you check out the Buy, Bink, uh, Buy Bit link in the description, sorry, if you want a chance to win an F122 copy and the chance to win Formula 1 tickets for a future Grand Prix, along with many other prizes. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll be catching you very, very soon. Peace.